My name is Paul Schwartz. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Thermalift, developing a natural gas, air conditioner, and heat pump technology to address one of the largest areas of building energy consumption, which is the HVAC space. Here we are in Ann Arbor today, where we've gone through a day of testing with Oak Ridge National Laboratory and NRAIL observing this testing to demonstrate the heat pump's capability and potential in the future. We have uh, reviewed the development of our technology with both Oak Ridge and NREL for the future potential of the, of the equipment. We looked at the cycle, uh, we looked at the fundamentals. There's quite a bit of effort going on on this thing. Uh, they, uh, we tested it. So we're, we're coming in at 21 degrees C, we're leaving at 17 degrees C? And where our helium flow rate, uh, look, our, our water flow rate is about 5.7 liters per minute. It works pretty decently. It does need uh, more development, more uh, heat transfer development on it, and uh, the team here is working aggressively to to uh, uh, address heat transfer issues, material issues, and so that the system has. But there's, you know, it's bearing fruit. My job in, in Thermalift is to uh, provide a 1D simulation, thermodynamic, thermodynamic simulation. The model itself provides a picture of uh, how the machine is supposed to, to perform and that we compare our result to that picture to see what type of uh, change we need to make. I'm Jason Woods from the National Renewable Energy Lab and we're working with Thermalift to help turn this component, this um, Thermalift heat pump component into more of a system and it's really helpful to really see the test and see the component in action to try to understand more things that still need to be improved and trying to understand how that will then impact the system performance and ultimately putting it in the field and understanding building modeling is what we're going to look at for the system um, to try to hone in on target markets and how much energy savings this technology ultimately has. So uh, the Wells Fargo Innovation Incubator or the IN2 program is a unique opportunity for clean technology companies and building technology companies to work with the National Renewable and Energy Lab, NREL. Our um, project with, with NREL is primarily a um, simulation project. So we, we've been focusing on building, simulating, and testing the nucleus of our device. But in order for it to be integrated into building environments, you need to have um, heat exchangers, coils, um, fans, blowers, or pumps in order to take the heat and distribute it. We're now getting to a point with testing and thinking about the next generation of how we're going to integrate it into the building. So we can work with NREL and their experts to take our 1D thermodynamic models and turn it into a full system HVAC model. Hi, my name is Adrian Tushinan. I am the Chief Technology Officer at, at Thermolift. My PhD uh, was done at the University of Transylvania in Brasov in um, developing combustion chambers. Now we are at the second generation um, uh, of the device. In the first generation, we did prove uh, the very basic uh, thermodynamic concept. Uh, in the second generation, today we had a quite important visit from uh, Oak Ridge National Laboratory and from NREL, on which we demonstrated that uh, what we tried to develop uh, uh, really works. Practically, we did uh, demonstrate that the core thermodynamic uh, uh, is working in our unit. CBIP is very, very happy with the progress that Thermalift has made um, over the last 12 months. They've moved forward financially, they've made some significant engineering progress, and we'll continue to work with them as they move forward to ensure they get the support that they need from Stony Brook University, Long Island, and New York State. Thermalift is looking forward to the next 12 to 18 month of our development program where we'll take our Generation 2 machine, iterate on top of that, and improve it to produce our Generation 3 machine. Once our Generation 3 machine is accomplished, we'll be uh, producing 20 units of those to go into the field for deployment and testing around the world.